In this example, we let m sub 2 by 2 be a vector space of all 2 by 2 matrices. And in part a, we are asked to show that the transformation from m sub 2 by 2 to m sub 2 by 2 is a linear transformation where the transformation of matrix A is equal to matrix A plus the transformation of matrix A, and A is some 2 by 2 matrix defined as A, B, C, D. And then in part B, we will let matrix B be an element of this vector space and let B be equal to its transpose. And our goal in part B is to find some matrix A in the vector space such that the transformation of matrix A equals matrix B. All right, so here we go. In part A, again, we are asked here to show that the transformation from this vector space to this vector space is a linear transformation such that the transformation of A is equal to matrix A plus the transformation of matrix A. So we need to do two things here. We need to show, in order for us to guarantee that this is a linear transformation, we need to show that the transformation of the sum of these two matrices, oh, and I'm noticing a typo, this should be, shame on me, this should be the transformation of matrix A plus matrix B is equal to the transformation of matrix A plus the transformation of matrix B. That is our first goal. And then case two, we want to show that the transformation of a scalar multiple C times matrix A is equal to the scalar multiple of that transformation. And this will guarantee that we have a linear transformation. All right, here we go. So to begin, we are going to let A be some two by two matrix. And this was given to us in the example. This is the two by two matrix A, B, C, D. And we also want to let C be any scalar our little hearts desire. So part one, show that the transformation of matrix A plus matrix B is equal to the transformation of matrix A plus the transformation of matrix B. All right, so the first thing we want to keep in mind, because we're given a lot of information here, we know right off the bat that this transformation is defined as the transformation of matrix A being equal to matrix A plus the transformation of matrix A. So since we know this, we'll use it to show that this is closed under addition. So we can say that the transformation of matrix A plus matrix B is equal to the transform or excuse me, is equal to matrix A plus matrix B plus the transformation of matrix A plus matrix B. Right, so basically, if we substituted A plus B in for each of these A's above. So now we need to simplify. And looking at our second term here, we can simplify this by the properties of the transpose. So this becomes matrix A plus matrix B plus the transformation of matrix B plus the transformation of matrix A. And again, that's by the properties of the transpose. that we saw in chapter two. And so now we can just group up our terms here. I'm gonna to group together matrix A plus A transpose, and I'm gonna group the B. So I have matrix B plus B transpose. And again, thinking back to what we're given here, we realize that, oops, we've done it. We can see that A plus A transpose is actually the transformation of matrix A, and B plus B transpose is the transformation of matrix B. And so case one is done. We've shown that this transformation is closed under addition. And we're ready for part two. So in part two, in order to confirm this is a linear transformation, we need to show that the transformation of a scalar multiple C times matrix A 
is equal to the scalar multiple of that transformation. So we're showing that this is closed under scalar multiplication. And again, let's keep the initial conditions in mind. We can say that since the transformation of A is defined here as matrix A plus the transformation of matrix A, and since C is any scalar, we can use this to help us confirm that this is holding true. All right, so we have the transformation of the scalar multiple of matrix A is equal to the scalar multiple C times matrix A plus the transformation of the scalar multiple C times matrix A. And we know again by properties of the transpose and properties of matrices in general that we can pull that scalar multiple out because the transformation of a constant or the transpose of a constant is just that constant. And then by the distributive property here, we can pull that scalar multiple C to the outside. So I have the scalar multiple C multiplied by matrix A plus the transpose of matrix A, which we know by definition or by this given example here is scalar multiple C multiplied by the transformation of matrix A. And so we have shown that this is closed under scalar multiplication. And so our final conclusion, since the transformation of matrix A plus matrix B is equal to the transformation of matrix A plus the transformation of matrix B, and since the transformation of a scalar multiple C of matrix A is equal to the scalar multiple of that transformation, we can conclude that the transformation of the vector space containing all 2 by 2 matrices to that same vector space is, in fact, a linear transformation. And we'll abbreviate this here. So this is a linear transformation. And this is our beautiful final answer here to part A. So now let's go ahead and look at part B. Let matrix B be an element of the vector space, and let B be equal to B transpose. And our goal here is to find a matrix A in the vector space such that the transformation of matrix A is equal to matrix B. And so what we want to keep in mind here is our conclusion from part A, or what was given to us in this example. The transformation of A is equal to matrix A plus A transpose. So we want to find this A. So the first thing we need to do here is define B. And we want to define some B such that B is equal to matrix A plus A transpose. So just thinking about B by itself, we can split this up into two parts. And let's actually we'll align this with our statement from above. B can be thought of as 1 half B plus 1 half B. So B is 1 half B plus 1 half B, just breaking it up into two parts here. Now from what is given, since we know B is equal to B transpose, we can further rewrite B as B is equal to 1 half B plus 1 half B transpose. And we'll keep in mind from our properties of the transpose, that this is equivalent to saying 1 half B plus 1 half B transpose, which looks an awful lot like what we want. So let's go ahead and let A then be 1 half B. Now we can't just make this conclusion. We need to go ahead and check that this is holding true. So we can say since the transformation of matrix A is equal to matrix A plus A transpose, if we replace A with 1 half B, I have the transformation of 1 half B is equal to 1 half times matrix B plus 1 half B transpose, which again we just saw. So 
this is one half b plus one half b transpose, which is the same thing as saying one half b plus one half b, which is matrix b. Woohoo! So therefore, the transformation of matrix A is equal to matrix B when or if matrix A is defined as one half B. And this is our beautiful final answer.